The Nerd Gas on Talk podcast is brought to you by Spaces Philly. If you love podcasts, go to spacesphilly.com where you can check out Lulu and Pop, Both Sides, Turntables, Jump Thoughts, Super Tongue, and the Nerd Coalition's very own No Gimmicks Needed. Visit spacesphilly.com today. And now, feel the nerdgasm. Now, Mr. Andy, you had something about the COVID relief plan being passed. Well, the reason why I wanted to bring this up is because I just wanted to go over, because first of all, as y'all know, on Thursday, Biden signed his big $1.9 trillion uh, COVID relief plan into law, which made that the biggest relief plan in American history. Mm -hmm. And it, it was approved by over 70 plus Americans, and even though you yeah, still have every American didn't vote for that, but I'm just saying, but the ones that did, over 70 plus Americans voted for it, and 44% were Republicans. Oh, wow. Yeah, and they, yeah, so um, the reason why I brought it up is because, one, everybody is getting a good amount of relief because the, the economy needs it. And like I said, uh, you know, a swag, you know, you're blessed enough to, to get your uh stimmy early and then me and Q flow away till Monday. And then you and then it's gonna help out a lot of small businesses and a lot of the schools and everything. And what a lot of people don't know is this 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 relief bill goes further than just everybody getting a fourteen hundred dollar check. Right. You know, say this relief bill is it is so massive and it helps out so much so, so many people that it's pissing a lot of the the far right off. <laughs> as you expect. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not sitting here going to be on here talking about no positive stuff like that. People out here who had to have their own opinions, or rather, Republicans saying he he's destroying the world. I'm like, all right, be quiet because you, your check is coming too. Yeah, I, hey, I he, hate the people that are saying, man, he ain't doing nothing in office. I'm like, bro, it's been it's been three months. He can't change the world in that quick. Hold on, but here's the thing, though. For the first time in a long time, the press actually did something that actually. Change the impact of the economy in less than a hundred days. Right. So I'm like, y'all sitting here, right? Y'all saying that, well, he ain't doing nothing. I'm like, yo, calm down. And, and as I gotten older, what I have learned is when people because I used to be one of the people saying that, you know, what they're doing. As I learned how Washington works and also of you know how things working, I have now in my older age watched more news. Mm-hmm. So I see what more was going on in the world. And there are a lot of things that have been done. And this thing right here, I brought this COVID package up because the movie theaters mm -hmm. uh, are going to get, because you know, these business stuff, these businesses and things like that, they're going to get money to help fund these places. You love your movie theaters. I love my movie theaters. And I want to go back to movie theaters so bad. And not only that, um, uh, families... Are, are, are getting the help who love family. Like I said, every dependent and every person is getting a $1,400 $1, check, which is excellent. unheard of. Yeah, that's excellent. So, right. you know, say I ain't trying to put a business out there, but I'm just saying, but uh, yeah, I, I have I have a couple of dependents on my thing. So everybody is qualified for that. I'm like, it's, it's, it's unheard of. And on top of all that stuff, uh, it helps uh, put funding into schools. Which is going to help get the kids back into school, and then not only that, every American will, if they want it, will have a vaccine available for them by May first. May, 1st. that's literally a month and a half away. That's right around the corner. Which people don't understand how much of a good news that is, and you know we have three vaccines out right now yeah three and right now there has been no you know all the all the rumors or all the things that we have been skeptical on. and i'm not saying that it you know everybody has a right to feel that way because hell especially especially people like us we supposed to feel that way there has been no cases of this thing has failing it has been doing the upshoot type thing the, the biggest problem is, is to get them into into these black and brown neighborhoods mm -hmm. with, with that being said like the president said in his his address was saying, "Yo, don't y'all want to have a barbecue in Fourth of July?" He said that. He said, "If we do, what we're supposed to do, and not be like you know certain states. I ain't gonna say no names. Florida, <laughs> Texas, Mississippi. Texas. You know, uh, if, if you were supposed to be doing what you're supposed to be doing, 
by Fourth of July, yo, we got to have barbecues with our people again. They were showing on the news the grandparents seeing their grandkids that they haven't seen in over a year. Yeah. So, as on nerd gas, I was like, what does that do for movie theaters? Can you imagine? Uh, by say the summertime, which everybody wants to be outside in the summertime anyway. Movie theaters open back up. What can this do for Comic Con? Like maybe small gathering Comic Cons. Maybe you can't be on the level of uh, Wizard World just yet, but what about the Greater Philadelphia? Mm-hmm. The one where and you can have the little small type things where people can just get out. And uh, now imagine that these things open back up, the amount of money people will pour into these things. Right. And they say that this won't help the economy? Are you kidding me? And a lot of people have been saving money by staying in the house. Like, I saved a lot of money with gas. <clears throat> I saved a lot of, yeah. on a bunch of things. And if I go out, I'm going to spend it. Because it's like, it's almost like that freedom, like, oh my god. Finally. And you just swiping your card. Yeah. So yeah, and, totally understand. And so, uh, and it, it's it, there, there is so much money for Americans and kids. It, it, it it's not even about who you support, how you feel. It's just Americans mm-hmm. and, and and their kids and to the stuff like that. It's like, can you imagine when these movie theaters come back open and they say they want to buy? Okay, Black Widow's in the movie theater, right? And Fast and Furious Nine is in the movie theater. And, and the Andy man. Movie, which is coming those regular movies will be sold out like Avengers movies because nobody has been to the movie theater right and, and I, I had to bring that up because that just does wonders for the economy wonders because everybody's going to want to pay for something everybody, want, everybody wants to get out and everybody wants to go and I'm like I would love to go to a restaurant or I would love to go uh, to the movie theaters and, or, or different kind, of, different kind of comic cons, especially if they're talking about having a vaccine by the the first of May. Man, I have a list especially, of restaurants I want to go to. Exactly. <laughs> I have a book. And, and now they have a vaccination rules. Like, hey, if you guys are all been vaccinated, everybody could be in this restaurant with no mask on. Right. It's 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 it, 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 it. That's why I said at the beginning of the podcast, I felt so good mm-hmm. because usually you don't hear. That kind of good news, right? Especially when we, we we we've been it's just a shit show for the past year, mm-hmm. and we were sitting here trying to stream movies and trying to sit there and watch them at home. Which don't get me wrong, every now and then it's good to watch them at home. But but at, for me at least, I go back to the movie theater. Yeah, it's certain movies like uh the main, <coughs> the main movie I want to see in the theaters is A Quiet Place too, or Godzilla versus King Kong. Yeah, I, I was mainly mainly uh Quiet Place too for the audience. Cause oh, I didn't, exactly. I didn't get that, I didn't get that experience with the first movie, and but I was you like, can't be quiet in the crib, like I can, but you, it's like having people, it's it's something about horror movies, you need an audience. Like Get Out was only was much better watching that in front of people. Yeah, like I, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have the same experience that I had watching Get Out at home. Same thing with Endgame, I wouldn't have the same reaction that I was watching Endgame at home Which- than I did. Uh, it, that's man. why I wanted y'all to come over for the Snyder Cut. Yo, that Snyder Cut is like eight hours long. That's a day shift, man. I don't think I could stay there. I need we could do like hour cuts or something, but <laughs> it's an hour hey, cut. I All right. watching this day part hour one. Movie. This day part two. <laughs> right? This day part three. <laughs> knock it out as a series. <laughs> like, we gonna knock it out as a series. That's so long. <laughs> I got the day y'all. I'm watching that whole John. Um, yeah, but no, but, uh, I, I agree yeah. with you, Ms. Yeah, that, 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 that's the only reason why I wanted to bring it up. Like I said, it wasn't get to, into political or, or stuff like this or, or who voted for this or who voted for that. No, I'm just saying just, just the relief has come. And I, I have seen, like, literally, the, the, the how it was, I went out there and I took my, my kids to a birthday party. It's amazing how people, people I just seen outside happy. Mm-hmm. Happy. Or, or sitting there. And I, I can't imagine what next week going to be like. Like I went to the laundromat early to drop some clothes off, and people was like, "How you doing?" Excuse me. I'm like, "Damn, on a Saturday <laughs> at the laundromat?" Because you know how our people are in the laundromat on Saturdays. Yep, just like. Shut and up. I'm just like, <laughs> shut yeah, I'm about to say, you know, what I'm saying, trying to handle their business. 
there was out there. I, I, I want to. I had to go to the store to, to buy my to buy my kids something, and then everybody was uh sitting there following the rules of the lines and giving social distance. I'm like, see, see what happened when, when money come. Okay, what neighborhood were you in? Because I, I need to go over there because I had this oh one God. guy breathing down my neck. <laughs> at me. I'm like, sir, come on. Which one you where, what, what you be going to? Uh the one down the street. The the um Market Square. Oh yeah, well I went to the one down here on Sedgwick. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I, I would just say everybody was just like to just, 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 it was a beautiful day. It was a little chilly outside, but it was a beautiful day, and everybody was just following. It, it, it just seemed like it just felt like Ice Cube said today was a good day. Yeah, <laughs> and I was just like, man, that that stimmy hit different. Yeah, shout out to the weather too, because this weather is amazing. It, 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 it has been. It's just imagine it gets a little bit warmer. Then it's just amazing that when people get so kind of relief. And I ain't talking about bullshit relief. I ain't talking about six hundred dollars. That you know that you got to between you and your kids and stuff like that. I'm talking you about think if you want to pay the rent or get food. It's a, it's a, you got to make a decision like do I pay the rent or do I got or do I get food on the table type of thing. I'm talking about this is this is the kind of uh relief where it's like I can pay rent, have food on the table, and and have something for myself. And you're allowed to have that. You're allowed to have that. Now, once again, everybody's situation is different. Obviously, people who have dependents or kids get more mm-hmm. because you know they had a kid something like that. But even still, just having it, you know, the people on unemployment are different also. But still, just just for the businesses and things like that, when the economy boosts, everybody wins. Yep. Everybody wins, and that's what the thing is. You got to boost the economy back up so everybody can win. And then once again, this came to look. He he ain't always there when you call, but he always on time because this comes around tax season too. So people still got their taxes that they could that they getting back also. I know they said taxes taxes are hitting, stimulus are hitting, food stamps are hitting. Everybody Look, rich now. <laughs> well, well, I, I, I'm sitting to tell you everything from uh food stamps to stimulus. And I I still don't know my my, my taxes at yet, but everything hitting on Monday. I'm like, let me tell you something. Monday used to be like the like the dead day. Nobody likes Mondays. Everybody gonna like this Monday. Yeah. First of all, I need to figure out how to get food stamps because that will help me out wonder. <laughs> I, I probably ain't going to get much. I'll probably get like $17, but. <laughs> Hold on, bro. Like I said, the shit changing now. It's, it's, I said, it's the, people truly not, not realizing like how big the scope of this relief package is. Mm-hmm. This ain't nothing to be. The, the stuff that's in this thing is almost like. This makes no damn sense. Right. This, this is shit you this is shit, shit you do when you playing Grand Theft Auto because you know so you just got money to give away to everybody. That's what this is like. Mm-hmm. Okay, right now. And this is this this is hitting different for, for a lot of things. And, and trust me, you're really gonna see the benefits of it, I would say, in a couple months. Like like really see the scope of how this thing is working out right. in a couple months. True. True that. So I'm excited about the movie theater. And that's basically what I would say. Excited about the movie theater. I'm hoping that maybe by towards the end of the year, like in the fall, we can get like a, a small gathering in Greater Philadelphia Comic Con. I would love to be vaccinated and go to the Greater Philadelphia Comic Con. But I I still want to wear a mask going outside. Only I, my, I, I I just honestly, I just don't like talking to people when I'm out. <laughs> and I feel like my face is very inviting. So to to, to, be, to be honest with you. I was with me and my neighbors and, and, and my wife were just having that same discussion. It, it was like, everybody, like, I want to go back to normal. I'm like, can we really, though? It's kind of like post 9 11. Right. You really can't go completely back to normal because, look, if you think about it, with everybody that's upset because they in the house ain't got no money. But if you think about it, the flu has been down. Mm-hmm. Nobody's been catching colds. Ain't nobody getting sick, is getting COVID. Right. People, it's like, Honestly, when I go to a restaurant, I kind of want people to have a mask on so they won't breathe on my food. Right. You know, say people come, people are becoming to work sick now. I think this should be a, a, something new. They'd be like, "Yo, you really should not come to work sick." Yeah. Now that you know, almost you, every job or every office job can be able to work through home. Exactly. So things are going to change. So it's not going to. Go, I don't think it's going to go back completely, one hundred percent normal. And like I said, I obviously even even me be hopefully hopefully 
being vaccinated, I'm not going to uh, automatically just jump on and be like, hey, I, I was going to go mask list because the masks don't bother me. I'm like, you, you got doctors and nurses who got to wear them shits all day. Mm-hmm. So what what am I even complaining about? I got nothing to complain about. So I don't mind wearing mine to, on the outside just to be even extra safe. Yeah. Kind of thing. So that, that don't bother me. Yeah, I, I'm 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 gonna continue to wear my mask. And I was actually talking to my coworkers. They was yeah. like, uh, they they were wearing masks, and it was like, one of uh, my coworkers says she didn't get a cold, and she usually gets a cold in the winter, but because of all the mask wearing, she didn't get. Cold. Ahead, bro. So yeah, so yeah, it's a uh, yeah no uh, I uh, yeah thanks for saying that. Thanks for bringing that up. Uh, no problem. Yeah. 